equations. Now, if you could make a separator that works, that's a solid state separator, what you'd have is what's shown in, in these uh, 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 right two illustrations here. So on the left, you see a conventional cell with a solid state ceramic separator. You could replace the polymer separator with that ceramic and then essentially do away with the entire anode. There's zero anode here. There's no carbon, there's no silicon. Uh, it's just a, a literally an interface between the, uh, the separator and this uh, current letter uh, contact sitting here. Um, when you, it becomes a two layer cell, a cathode and a separator, zero anode. When you first charge up the cell, the lithium that's in that cathode uh, makes its way through this solid state separator. And then because there's no carbon there, just plates itself into a layer of pure metallic lithium forming the anode in situ. Uh, and when you discharge it, it goes back to the original state, lithium goes back into the cathode, you're left with this anode-free design. This is a really beautiful design because not only do you eliminate the cost and complexity of the carbon, uh, but the lithium that forms the anode here uh, is not an externally sourced uh, 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 layer of lithium. It's the same lithium that's normally cycling in the cell <clears throat> and comes in the cathode when you when you purchase the cathode raw material, uh, those materials come lithiated. So you're using the actual lithium that's already in the cathode to cycle these cells uh, with no uh, uh, handling or processing of metallic lithium required in the manufacturing.